You see that? You know that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Mystery Box that just came out on Monday, I think, or like last week, something, whatever, but there it is. And let me, before we are just unboxing this, tell you something about the history between me and Charlotte. I think we all remember that time in 2021 where, you know, COVID, lockdown, it doesn't matter which country you were, TikTok kind of won the like race of social media. And in 2021, I was one of those people who were like, I'm not going to download TikTok. And now my weekly scream time, scream, yeah, yes, sometimes it's a scream time, but the weekly scream time is somewhat around like 50, maybe 60% is TikTok. I'm so proud, like, look at me, 32, spending 60% of her screen time on the app for videos. But you know what? I don't care because TikTok is just, it's just fun, depending on what kind of corner you're But that's not what I want to talk about. Charlotte Tilbury, I'm pretty sure, like, if you were not into makeup, um, okay, no, let me, let me do that different. Um, Thanks to TikTok, the brand and the person, in my opinion, Shana Tilbury went from she's a known icon in the makeup community to even my husband now knows who she is and he doesn't even know how to put a moisturizer correctly. Let that sink in. And um, I got really sucked in. So my very first Charlotte Tilbury product was the Pillow Talk lipstick that I got in the advent calendar from Sephora, Germany in 2021. Um, after that, I think the second item that I got was the Beautiful Skin Foundation because that was launched in January 2022. And after that kind of, I got so sucked into Charlotte Tilbury. The wands, the lip liner, the mascara, the quads, the big palettes, the eyes to mesmerize. I had everything that Charlotte Tilbury had. And when I say I had, I mean that last year around late summer, something happened and I started to declutter everything from Charlotte Tilbury. What I am at the moment left with is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I love that one. I also have the Beautiful Skin Concealer. Love that. Corrector. I love that. Um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm actually on my second bottle now, so that's that's a statement. Uh, what else? Um, I recently decluttered the Airbrush Flawless Powder. I hate that, while the Brightening Powder is just awesome. I have multiple of her face palettes. I fell back in love with the contour wand after I finally figured out how to make it work for me. Um, the blush ones, even the matte blush ones, oh fuck me, they are so good. And also the newest release, the lip blur. These are just fantastic items. But the eyeshadow, I decluttered everything. I had six or seven quads, I think, um, and one of the, the like 12 pans. Uh, the smoky eyes of forever and I decluttered everything. I just quickly realized that the quality of Charlotte Tilbury and the color story of Charlotte Tilbury quads is not, it, it kind of does not vibe with my whole makeup experience. I mean, let me tell you what I'm wearing today. So today I'm wearing this palette in a, for me to be honest, a very quiet look. Um, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics uh, Sugar and Grunge and I struggle to open that. But I mean, look at this. This is so up my alley, while a Charlotte Tilbury quad is very pretty. It is like sophisticated, feminine magic. Let me just state that. Um, but that's not me. Like a Pillow Talk eyeshadow quad, yes, it's nice, but I can get the same experience with Natasha Denona, the mini red, for example, or in general with any other palette that has pinks in it. There were some special ones that I actually missed out. Um, so for example, there was, oh, I have no idea how the one was called, something with fire or flame. I don't know, that was super popular, but it got discontinued or what was limited edition or whatever. 
But I never really got into her eyeshadow formula. And I have to say, I think they're bad. I think the eyeshadow quality of Charlotte Tilbury does not match up the price because a fucking quad, that means for eyeshadow pants, is 50 euro. 50! Five and zero. Is that even right? Five? You know what I mean. It's so expensive. And you know, I can see maybe my mom. She would buy this quad, for example, the Pillow Talk quad. I think she would look fabulous. And the Pillow Talk, uh, the darker one, there's a medium quad, I think, or Pillow Talk. Intense was it called. And she would use that shit completely up. But I'm sitting here, <laughs> staring over there at, at the moment, 91 eyeshadow palettes. And two are on the way. Um, it's just not for me. This is, this is not me. And if I... If I want to do somewhat of this sophisticated eye look, I would totally grab another palette because you can achieve the same thing with the Pat McGrath 10 pen palette or, for example, with the, the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Like, come on, it's it's the same. And now I'm slowly getting back into Charlotte Tilbury, I have to say. Like the, um, the lip blurs, I had a Cool first impression on that and even though I'm not wearing one today I'm still loving them uh, the matte blush ones oh, I just used one this week and I got reminded of how awesome these are the face architect highlighters are they are literally fire even though the packaging is like the worst ever to exist but they are just phenomenal products. And now we're sitting here with a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. I have never ever in my life purchased a mystery box from her because I was always like, ah, yeah, I, I already have a lot of stuff from her, so why purchase one? And now that I haven't, I thought, okay, let's do it. And she even sneak peeked one item, it is a lipstick, so we're going to rub that off, of course, and try that out. And on the website, you see like the blackened out shapes of the items. And she recently launched the, I don't know what the full name is, like the white blue hydrating face mist. I have no idea what the purpose of this shit is, but for whatever reason in the summer, I want to have a face mist. I want to drench myself in this. I want to squirt that whole shit on my face. I want to make face mist bukkake all day. And I'm pretty sure out of the blackened out shapes, one is in here. So let's unbox it. You have a line where you can rip it off, but you put sticky tape on it. Now I have to get my scissors. Fuck you. Okay. It comes in a beautiful box. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. I am peeing myself. <gasps> We hate the influencer gas, but come on, that's a beautiful gift box. And I know that this is the standard gift box, like, who are you kidding? But I never order with the standard gift box because I have to pay like five euro extra and I'm... No, 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 not for packaging. Mm -mm. So let's take a look inside. And the thing is, when I'm filming, you can see what's inside, but I can't because I can't even see the viewfinder correctly because I'm wearing glasses. So let's... It's wrapped in satin paper. Presentation, 10 out of 10. I'm a bit disappointed. I was really expecting the new face mist, but it isn't. So the first product is the Glow Toner. Um, I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury skincare. Oh, no, that's a lie. I tried Charlotte Tilbury skincare whenever I had testers because you cannot convince me to pay a hundred bucks on a fucking face cream. Like, I would rather slack my face full of Vaseline instead of that. And when I had these testers, I didn't like it. The only product that I liked was a mask. Like there were um, two, like a two-faced mask, whatever, were like one part and then another part. That was fine. But okay, so this is the toner. Um, good for me, I use toner every day. So I use toner night and morning uh, routine. 
depending on makeup day or not. So this is definitely not going to be a toner for makeup days because I do have a wonderful face routine for my makeup days, but I can totally imagine using this on my no makeup days or maybe in the evening. We will see. I will also put the prices somewhere, <laughs> somewhere here. Because this mystery box retails for 115 euro and of course I want to know if I get the worth out of it. And we have another item that I'm actually quite interested in. This is the Charlotte Magic Lip Oil. And if I saw that correctly, she recently came out with shades of this, like it was a pink or red or whatever, but that seems to be the clear one. This is a lip conditioner by day, lip gloss by night. I love that because every day when I do my makeup, I use stuff like that uh, to prep my lips and I um, I am living for the Nimya 24-7 lip balm because this is the best lip primer ever. There's also mascara inside and oh, that's disappointing because I was so hoping um, for the Pillow Talk one. I never tried the full fat lashes, let's, let's be real with that, but... I thought it was a lip liner matching for the lipstick, but no, it's an eye pencil in bedroom black. And to be honest, I like her um, like cold pencils, but this, yeah, this is a cold too. Oh, I, I really like them. I have one of the double sided one. It's copper charge. I think there you have a matte and a metallic side. I absolutely adore this. And I also do have the pillow talk eye pencil. They're really good. So that's, that's a win. We've just talked about eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> of course, there had to be a quad inside. Um, it's the Celestial Pearl one. And if I'm not mistaken, one of my friends on Instagram, she's recently obsessing over this. And that's the right one. And I just saw some photos of that quad in her Instagram feed. And I mean, Charlotte knows how to do packaging. Yeah, it's the quad that I thought of and I mean, it's not, it's not ugly. Um, I can imagine myself wearing this, but the thing is, these quads, they look so luxurious, but they don't feel luxurious. That's, that's probably my personal opinion. I mean, this quad is 50 euro alone, so that's half the box. And last but not least, and that is the Tease product. And the Super Nudes, is that a thing in the Charlotte Tilbury line? Has this been around forever? Because this is the shade Catwalking and it's described as a luminous, modern, mad, long-lasting lipstick. So let me just open up that fucker. Classic Charlotte Tilbury packaging. Okay, dear Charlotte and dear Charlotte editing team, are you colorblind? On the photos, on the website, this looks like um, a light nude, like a light peach pink nude. But this is a straight up brown. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad about that. I love colors like that. It's screaming fall to me, but um, let's, let's put it on before I rent. Let me very sexy take off my tart maracuja gloss with this <laughs> full of dirty towel paper that I used today to wipe off all brushes. That was a bad idea, my lips are burning. You know what? My lips are burning as fuck. So let's apply some of the oil to see how it feels. Ooh, it's a rollerball. That's even cool, like what the fuck? The application is really nice, to be honest. Um, that rollerball is so 90-98, but I like it. It's super nourishing. Holy smokes. So I tap that into the lips so that I can apply the lipstick directly on top. Let's just do the standard hand swatch. There you have it. Am I crazy or is this orange? Let's put it on. This is nude blur in the lipstick. Why are you doing this to me? It looks good. But I hate colors like that. Why did nobody tell me that the whole time this fucking piece of hair was hanging random on my head? I'm so bad at doing hair. So with all these products, I'm pretty sure the value is somewhere around 200, 220 euro. I think on the website it even said like instead of 230, it's 115 euro. Um, 
100% honesty. I was expecting something else, but I'm actually also not mad about the toner because toner is something that I use daily. The lip oil feels awesome. I will get a lot of use out of that. I will completely use that fucker up. The quad. I will try it, but it will probably end up in a decolor video. Mascara? I'm not sure because I never tried it, so let's see how this is. And the lipstick. The longer I look at myself in the face, the more I like it. Um, so that will stay. Do you need this mystery box? Absolutely not. Do I regret buying it? A little bit. So now tell me, did you got the same products as I did or are the mystery boxes completely different? Because if you got the fucking spray, I'm jealous. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.